Hey everyone! Ever experienced that annoying joint pain that makes every step a challenge? Well, you're not alone. Joint pain can be a real party crasher. But don't worry, we've got your back, and knees, and elbows, with some fantastic natural remedies that'll get you grooving without worry. Today we're diving into the world of natural joint pain relief. Just simple, easy to follow tips that your joints will thank you for. So grab a comfy seat, hit that play button, and let's bid farewell to joint pain together. Number 1. Heat and Cold Therapy When you slap a heating pad or warm towel on a sore spot, it opens up the blood vessels in that area. More blood flows in, bringing along oxygen and nutrients for your hardworking joint buddies. This increased blood flow also helps to relax muscles and soothe the pain. It's great for chronic pain or those days when your joints feel like they need a bit of extra care. So if you've got an old injury or your joints just want some comfort, heat is your go-to. Now, when you apply cold, it constricts the blood vessels, reducing swelling and numbing the area. Cold is the superhero for acute injuries, those sudden sprains or swelling. But, and there's always a but, be careful not to overdo it. Too much heat or cold can lead to burns or frostbite, and that's not the goal. Also, don't slap ice directly on your skin. Wrap it in a towel or something. And if you have conditions like diabetes or poor circulation, it's wise to chat with your doctor before turning your joints into an ice rink or a sauna. Number 2. Turmeric Turmeric is this golden yellow powder that comes from the roots of the turmeric plant, and it's been used for centuries in traditional medicine. Now, the magic lies in a compound called curcumin that's hanging out in turmeric. When you've got joint pain, it's usually because of inflammation acting up, and curcumin goes all ninja on that inflammation. It blocks the enzymes responsible for the inflammation party. Plus, it's got antioxidant powers, which means it can fight free radicals. The unstable molecules that can mess with your cells, including the ones in your joints. Using turmeric is pretty easy. You can sprinkle it on your food, toss it in your smoothies, or make a warm cup of turmeric tea. Some people go for turmeric supplements to up their curcumin game. Just keep an eye out for the right dosage, and if you're adding it to your daily routine, it's always a good idea to check in with your doctor. Number 3. Epsom Salt Baths Epsom salt is not your regular table salt. It's like a fancy version with magnesium and sulfate buddies. When you dump some Epsom salt into a warm bath and soak in it, the magnesium gets absorbed through your skin and starts doing its magic. It is anti-inflammatory, meaning it tackles that annoying swelling and soreness. Sulfate, on the other hand, is all about improving joint and tissue function, making things move smoother than a well-oiled machine. All you have to do is fill your tub with warm water, not too hot and not too cold. Then sprinkle in about two cups of Epsom salt and stir it around a bit to make sure it dissolves. Now the fun part, hop in and soak for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Let those minerals seep into your skin and work their charm on your joints. But hey, don't go overboard. Doing this once or twice a week is plenty. More isn't always better. Number 4. Compression Socks or Sleeves Normal socks just hang out on your feet, not doing much. But compression socks have a secret power. They squeeze your legs in a gentle hug. This squeeze helps the blood vessels do their job better, improving blood circulation. Now why is this important for joint pain? Well, good blood flow means more oxygen and nutrients reach your muscles and joints, and waste products get cleared away faster. It's like giving your joints a little spa treatment, helping them recover and reducing inflammation. Now, this isn't just random talk. Studies have shown that compression socks are not just a gimmick. Research has found that wearing them can help in relieving joint pain, especially for people dealing with conditions like arthritis or after intense workouts. Just slide them on like regular socks, but make sure they're snug without being too tight. You don't want them cutting off circulation, just giving a comfortable squeeze. Number 5. Omega-3 Fatty Acids Omega-3s are essential fatty acids in certain fish like salmon, in walnuts, and flax seeds. These little wonders have been gaining attention for their role in promoting joint health. So how does this work? Well, our joints have a lining called the synovium. And when it's healthy, it produces a fluid that lubricates the joints, reducing friction and preventing pain. Omega-3s play a vital role in maintaining the health of this synovium. They have anti-inflammatory properties, meaning they can calm down the inflammation that often leads to joint pain. 
and there is also a study published in the journal Nutrients suggesting that regular consumption of omega-3 rich foods or supplements can contribute to improved joint function and may even alleviate symptoms in conditions like rheumatoid arthritis. Getting your dose of omega-3s is easy. Incorporate fatty fish like salmon or mackerel into your diet a couple of times a week. If fish is not your thing, consider taking fish oil supplements. For vegetarians seeking joint relief, flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts offer plant-based omega-3 goodness. Algal oil supplements, derived from algae, provide a vegan-friendly alternative for omega-3s. We've made it halfway through our list, and we sincerely hope you've enjoyed it so far. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and ring the notification bell if you want to see more content like this. Let's move forward with the video. Number 6. Pineapple and Papaya Pineapple and papaya are not just tasty fruits. They also pack a punch when it comes to natural joint pain relief. The secret lies in their powerful enzymes, bromelain in pineapple and papain in papaya. These enzymes work as natural anti-inflammatories, helping to reduce swelling and ease joint discomfort. Studies have shown that bromelain and papain can be as effective as some over-the-counter anti-inflammatory medications, minus the side effects. But don't go all fruit crazy. Moderation is key. Too much pineapple or papaya might lead to digestive issues, because these enzymes can also mess with your stomach if you overdo it. Number 7. Acupuncture Acupuncture goes way back in ancient times and is part of Chinese medicine. The idea is to insert super fine needles into specific points on your body called acupoints. These acupoints are like energy hotspots, and by needling them, the energy flow, or qi, gets balanced. Now, how does this relate to joint pain? Well, acupuncture isn't just about energy balance. It also stimulates the release of endorphins, your body's natural painkillers. Studies have delved into the magic of acupuncture for joint pain relief. Some suggest that it can help reduce inflammation and improve joint pain, making it a promising option for those achy knees and elbows. Plus, it is generally considered safe when performed by a trained practitioner. However, always go to a certified acupuncturist. DIY acupuncture is a big no. Also, if you're pregnant or have a bleeding disorder, it is crucial to consult with your doctor before diving into the acupuncture adventure. Number 8. Adequate Hydration do you know how our joints have this liquid called synovial fluid? Now, when you're not drinking enough water, this fluid becomes thicker and less effective. That's when you start feeling those aches and pains in your joints. When you're well hydrated, it's like giving your joints a nice refreshing drink. The synovial fluid stays in good condition, keeping your joints lubricated and reducing friction. Less friction means less pain. Studies have backed this up. There was this research where they found that people who drank more water reported less joint pain. It's like a simple solution, just drink more water and your joints will thank you. So how much water is ideal? Well, it depends on you, like your age and how active you are. But a good starting point is around 8 cups a day. If you are sweating it out at the gym or it's a hot day, you might need a bit more. Number 9. Essential Oils Essential oils are like the superheroes of plants. They carry powerful compounds that can tackle inflammation and soothe those achy joints. Take lavender oil, for example. It's got anti-inflammatory properties that can calm things down. When you apply these oils, the active compounds get absorbed through your skin and start doing their thing. Now, choosing the right essential oil is crucial. Different oils have different superpowers. Peppermint oil is known for its cooling effect, while eucalyptus is a champ at relieving pain. Just make sure to dilute them with a carrier oil before applying to avoid irritation. Safety first! Now let's talk precautions. While essential oils can be a game changer, they're not a one-size-fits-all solution. Some people might be sensitive or allergic, so it's wise to do a patch test first. Number 10. Maintaining a healthy weight and exercise. When you're carrying extra pounds, joints, especially the knees and hips, take a beating. It's like asking them to do a marathon with a backpack full of rocks. Now, when you shed those extra pounds through a combo of eating right and moving around, it's like giving your joints a break and telling them, chill, we got this. Try low-impact exercises like swimming, cycling, or gentle walks. And don't forget to throw in some muscle-strengthening moves. But here's the deal. You need a game plan. Your body has a voice, and if it's yelling, stop hurting me, consider mixing things up. And don't forget the warm-up. But hey, I won't sugarcoat it. It can be tough. 
especially if your joints are already protesting. That's when you team up with a pro, a physiotherapist who can guide you through the journey without making your joints scream in agony. Imagine strutting confidently, dancing carefree. That's the goal. These tips, they're your ticket to a future with less pain and more heck yeah moments. Why care? Because a life without joint pain means enjoying all the good stuff. The breeze, cozy hugs, and the little joys. Taking care of your joints isn't a chore. It's a high five to your future self. A promise to stay flexible, strong, and full of life. Oh, and don't forget your secret weapon, your doctor. They're the coaches for your joint health team. Checking in with them is like having a superhero on speed dial. So cheers to a future where every step is a celebration. Your joints are your dance partners, and your health team is giving you a standing ovation. Keep rocking, keep moving, and let the good vibes roll. Do you find this video informative or helpful? Let us know in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Don't forget to like and share. Stay healthy!